If you want to get into a really good old anime show, I'd recommend getting into this one called Death Note. Because Death Note is like, holy shit. I just actually just got recently got into it, like, I'm on episode 3. And the battle between Light and L is huge. I mean, whoa, it's a battle between Kira and L. And it's funny because what Kira is trying to do, he's trying to basically save the world by writing all the names of the criminals on the death note and then um, 40 seconds later they die of a heart attack and um, the real government like L considers him a criminal like his penalty is death and Light thinks he's a god or what, what he's going to be eventually in the future is a god like him himself is Kira and it's, and it's crazy because L is the only person who can investigate into this because he's like the super intelligent government uh, governor out of this. Like he knows everything about like the world. He's kind of like uh, it's hard. Like he he just knows everything pretty well. Um, nobody in like the FBI, the CIA, or any other groups couldn't even investigate into this. They're actually not even that good compared to L. L is way more skilled. Like if the FBI and CIA, they would assume that that he was he's in America. But what L did, he's like, yo, get my ass over there to Japan and set up a headquarters. In the Kanto region. Yeah, this sounds like Pokemon already. <laughs> uh Kanto region's so big. Oh you like my G Shock. But yeah, um L already knew where light was. And, the, and this, was, this was the cool thing that I saw. Okay, so supposedly L, Light, um, or Paler, or whatever his name is, he had his name, like, he had his name tag in, right? And then he was speaking in front of everyone, like everyone, the whole world, telling him that, yo, Kira, we're coming after you. Like, he appeared in a suit, right? Kira? right off the bat was already had his name written on the thing on the death note and 40 seconds later passed out here's the tricky one though the guy who just passed out wasn't really l that was a guy who was about to get executed anyways so he pretty much did the favor for him and got him executed and so this battle is very intense and at the end of this episode season two well, not season two, episode two. They were both like, yo, we're going to come after each other. I'll hunt you down before you hunt me down. So I'd assume that eventually, because I spoiled it a bit, like they, they both got, eventually they meet up and they, they got handcuffed to each other and they got, and they fight. But this is so badass right now. I just, the battle between justice, like you can't even, nobody even knows who really L is. They've never seen his face. He locks himself up pretty much, and um, I was gonna say like, okay, the guy who was playing as L, I thought that was really L, but I thought L eventually, you know, he starves himself because he's he's so hard. He's trying to investigate that, you know, that's why that's how he got so skinny. But that wasn't really the case. L is just another person, and nobody can find him. And this anime so far is just woo, freaking amazing. Like it reminds me of Bleach. If you guys don't remember the Bleach anime, get into that too, because Bleach is an amazing anime, and I believe that this anime is also amazing as well, according to what all the anime reviewers say, like, dang, if you want to get into an old anime, get into Death Note, and most of the old animes, in my opinion, they value more than the newer animes, like, newer animes, they come and go, but older animes, when they come, they stay in their heart. Okay, so, um, that's the thing, and so Death Note might be one of those animes, yet yeah, it, it's only got like, what, 37 episodes? So, oh, well, Hunter x Hunter had like, I don't know, but I, I already got caught up on that series, season, uh, but the 2011 version. But this is great overall, 10 out of 10, like, if my final recommendation, if you're trying to look for a a good old-fashioned anime get into this like hands down oh my gosh I'm probably gonna try to catch up of this over Dragon Ball Super 
I don't know why my cousins say, Dude, get into Dragon Ball Super, it's hyped up. Here's the thing, I can't even get into it, because I'm watching, like, episode 4, 5, 6. They're boring. All I, all I see is parties. Like, come on. Like, it's I'm, I'm waiting for, I don't know, a real fight to go down. And that's not until episode 12 and 14. That's almost making me saying, yo, I might as well just skip it to that part. And why would I want to do that if... Like, why would he get into a series if you want to catch up watching every single one of these episodes? And Death Note might be the answer to solving my, like, getting into a new anime satisfaction. But let me know what you guys think. you think I made the right choice? It, um, or do you think I should get into a new, a different anime? Um, drop me a like if you haven't subscribed. This is JJD Uchiha, and I'm off. So writing more names down on the death note. Though, oh my gosh! This is a Damn! Oh my gosh, that that opening is intense. It pumps me up. Can't wait to watch a new opening episode.